Welcome back to the Church of Obelis. Update 732C was released yesterday and contains some major changes to balance, in particular some overpowered heroes were nerfed, and in particular, in particular for viewers of this channel, Chen and Visage were hit with a nerf bat. So let's see if there's still any good. I'm not going to go over all the changes. There's a bunch of bug fixes which are nice. We've got some changes to items. Uh, Bloodstone has been buffed, which was a very underused item. And we've got a nerf to Refresher Orb and Refresher Shard. So that uh, is quite welcome from my point of view. We've got Eye of the Vizier, one of the least used items, gets a bit of a buff. I think it's still fairly weak. And we've got a bit of a buff on Dagger of Wrist Tool. So with you playing Lone Druid, for example, this is quite nice to have this item. But in general, it was fairly weak. But now it's maybe... Uh, viable on some heroes that uh, tend to have a lot of uh, region or lifesteal. And then one of the neutrals was changed. The Saturn Mind Stealer used to be one of the strongest creeps in the game. And it's still very strong now, but it's been uh, tuned down a little bit. Axe gets some minor buffs. Nice. Bad Rider gets some nice nerfs. I like that. I hate playing against Bad Rider. Bloodseeker, some very minor nerfs. Bounty Hunter gets a bit of a buff. Brewmaster gets a slight buff. Root mother slight buff and then we get to chen and here we see a nerf to holy persuasion where you get minus four damage level one minus six minus eight and minus ten damage at max level so this is a pretty significant nerf to chen creeps you're going to be doing quite a bit less right click damage also divine favor has been nerfed you get less health region now and now it's only one hp per level which uh, makes this ability quite a bit worse. And I feel like now it might just be correct to just skip this ability entirely at the start and just get uh, Persuasion and uh, Penitence. And then uh, the right side, level 10 talent, has been nerfed slightly. Not really a very big deal. So this is going to hurt Chen definitely also in combination with the nerf to the neutral creep here. Uh, with the Saturn Mind Stealer. So... Um, I think Chen is still going to be strong, but this is going to decrease his power level a lot. Basically, before this, Chen was like a top 3 uh, position 5 hero. Also, a similarly very strong position 4 hero. Could even be played as a core. Um, with these changes, I still think he's like a good plus 5 hero, but he's no longer like a top 3 hero. He's more like a, you know, like um, high B tier, maybe low A tier kind of hero. We've got some Darkseer buffs to get him ready for TI. Dawnbringer gets some well-deserved nerfs. That hero is really overbearing. Uh, Death Prophet gets some major nerfs. I'm not exactly sure why she gets so many nerfs. Uh, apparently she was a bit too strong in pro games. Uh, Draw Ranger gets a bit of a buff. Um, Elder Titan also gets a bit of a buff to his Shard. Shard is, I think, now quite viable. Enigma gets some major nerfs. That was uh, one of the strongest offlaners of uh, 732B and also viable as a support. So we get uh, less tankiness on the dem demonic conversion Eidolons at the start and less damage from Midnight Pulse. And then also this talent change, but that's not that important. So Enigma, I think, is still going to be a decent offlaner, but uh, definitely going to be quite a bit weaker. Faces Void, one of the most popular, one of the strongest carries, gets some nice nerfs. Uh, so that's uh, very welcome. Grimstroke, uh, actually one of the worst performing supports, uh, um, albeit still um, reasonably popular, gets uh, some, some minor buffs. Not going to be enough. It's going to be weak. Gyrocopter, a hero that's actually kind of good, but only as a support. So they buff his flak cannon to make him perhaps viable again as a carry. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough. Cottle gets a bit of a buff. I'm not sure if they needed that, but apparently his win rates were quite low. Lich gets a very meaningless buff here. Lina gets a minor nerf here. I'm not sure if he really needed that a nerf here, but okay. Lion gets a bit of a buff, also one of the weaker supports, so this makes sense. Magnus gets a bit of a buff to his uh, laning phase with the buffs to Shockwave. Uh, Marcy gets some major nerfs because they don't want to see Marcy being first phase picked or banned every game at TI, so that makes sense. Meepo gets a bit of a buff to his uh, shard and his agonims. Won't really change very much. Still just like a cheese hero that's very good in particular games, but otherwise very mediocre. 
nature's prophet gets some uh, nice buffs here and wrath of nature mana cost decrease not that important but it's a nice uh, improvement and then curse of the old growth that's the shard gets a bit of a buff but the problem is this new shard is still quite a bit weaker than the old shard that gave you these super trees night stalker gets a bit of a buff not gonna make too much of a difference omni knight one of the strongest supports uh, in the current meta gets a nerf and honestly he's getting away with murder he has not a very big nerf and he was probably like the best support or at least like top three support before this patch so i think he's still going to be very very powerful we're going to see a lot of omni knight at ci oracle gets a bit of a buff not going to change very much uh, od gets a bit of a buff also not going to change much PA gets uh, some slight uh, buffs. Okay, why not? And Phantom Lancer gets also some slight buffs. Again, these are not going to change very much. Primal Beast gets a nerf to the uproar damage. So he's going to be worse at laning and worse at last hitting, especially early on. Because at level 4, the difference is very marginal. But level 1, it's a big difference between whether you get 10 or 6 um, bonus damage. Pudge gets a very 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 slight nerf which i don't understand at all i think this hero is actually very powerful uh, the problem is just people are playing him as a support a lot of the time and i don't think he's actually good as a support i think he's underwhelming as a support but actually very strong as an offlaner and potentially even as a carry or a mid uh, so i think this hero deserves more nerfs and i think we're going to see him a lot in ti Pagna gets a bit of a buff, not going to change very much. He's still going to be fairly weak after removal of the uh, magic damage reduction from Netherward. Ricky gets a slight buff, doesn't really matter very much. Ruby gets a nice quality of life change. Sand King gets minor buff here. Shadow Demon um, with the introduction of this new disseminate ability is actually kind of weak. And these buffs are nice, but I don't think they're going to be enough. I think this hero is still going to be fairly marginal. But it could be strong in particular lineups. Shadow Fiend actually is insane right now with his laning prowess with Shadow Race stacking. And it's been tuned down a little bit, but I think Shadow Fiend is still quite good. Silencer gets a bit of a buff. Um, I still don't think the hero is all that strong, but you know, we might see him uh, a bit at TI. Slada gets a bit of a buff, especially the buff here to Bash of the Deep is interesting. Maybe this will uh, allow us to see some uh, uh, different slaughter builds because nowadays basically everyone is, mash is maxing out Bash of the Deep first. With this, maybe people will put more points into Crush instead of Bash of the Deep and keep that at level 1 because the only thing that goes up now with the leveling is the damage. The stun duration stays the same. So maybe we see some more build diversity on slaughter, which is nice. Slark gets a bit of a nerf on his shard and also on his level 10 talent. Rebreaker gets some minor buffs. Um, particularly the shard gets a bit of a improvement here it was kind of stupid that uh, this was triggered previously if um, people targeted spells at you and then this sort of was, didn't do anything so now this is no longer triggered by that and it only redirects something that's actually not targeted at you so but still the shard is probably rather marginal techies gets a bit of a buff here in lower levels um whatever tight hunter gets uh, pretty nice buffs here Extra half second duration on Gush and some nice bonus damage on Ravage. Especially level 1 is going to make a big difference. Going from 200 damage to 250 is uh, quite a big deal at level 6. So maybe we'll see quite a bit of Tide Hunter at uh, TI because it's just a very solid offlaner. Undying gets some much needed nerfs. Um, so basically what they've done is see they've made his laning worse by having Decay, lower level mana cost uh, increased. And also Tombstone has been nerfed uh, so tombstone now only uh, five percent slow per zombie instead of seven percent that's a pretty big uh, difference and also less vision um but i still feel like undying is going to be quite quite strong even with these nerfs here and i think we're going to see both undying as a support and even as a core at ti venomancer gets a buff to venomous gale mana cost in decrease at the start and then the shard has been buffed. The shard is basically a, an insurance against uh, dispel, and it's been uh, buffed a little bit. And Viper gets another nerf here, and this hero just uh, just can't catch a break. He keeps getting nerfed. 
Um, I guess people just don't like playing in Sim, which is understandable. And then we get to our boy Visage. Look how they've massacred my boy. Grave chill. Cooldown increased. One second across the board. So Grave chill with a level 10 talent used to have a 7 second cooldown with a 6 second uptime. So you have uh, almost always Grave chill available. But now it's going to be 6 seconds uptime and then you have to wait for 2 seconds before you cast it again. So this is actually a bigger nerf than it seems. But then here's the big, big one here. Gravekeeper's Cloak Radius decreased from 1200 to 900. This is a huge nerf to Visage. This is going to make it much more difficult to keep your birds alive in fights. It's going to make it more difficult to push towers and high ground. And this is going to make uh, Visage quite a bit weaker. Also, the Shard has been slightly nerfed. Um, that's not going to make a big difference. And then also a slight movement speed change here for the Familiars. Minus 10. Okay, we can live with that. And also this level 20 talent has been nerfed a little bit. Okay. But like all of these, except for this one, would be like very minor. But the radius decrease, that is the big one. So the question is, is this still good? And my answer is probably yes. I think this hero is still incredibly powerful. You know, before these nerfs, he's got like a win rate in like the high 50s, you know. Maybe even going to 60 at some during a good day. Um and also with like a pretty good pick rate at Divine and Immortal Bracket. So this hero needed some, some real nerfs. So I understand this. Um, and I think the hero is still going to be uh, quite decent after these nerfs. But he's no longer going to be quite as dominant. So although as a Visage spammer, I really hate those changes. Um, objectively, we have to say that it is probably fair. And uh, I think I will continue playing Visage and uh, see whether that's good. I played actually one game. Uh, post nerf where I just completely stomped on Visage like I fed first blood at the start um, against like a level 2 bad rider but then I went like 15-1 and uh, we just dominated the game so it's still definitely still very possible to do a lot of good stuff with Visage so I think these nerfs are harsh but fair and Warlock gets slight buff here uh, Wind Ranger gets a bit of a buff and also Wraith King getting a slight buff here for the early game so, the big changes here are Visage, Chen, Undying, uh, all getting some well-deserved nerfs. Omni Knight not being nerfed enough, but it's, it's a good start. Pudge getting a very gentle nerf, which is not enough. Marcy getting some, some good nerfs. So, on the whole, a, a very good patch. Also, of course, Enigma getting some major nerfs here. So, I think it's all a, a step in the right direction. It all makes sense, but... Uh, all that being said, I still am very sad that uh, Chen and Visage have been nerfed so much. But yeah, that is life. That's it for today. More content coming soon. And Obel is willing. I'll see you next time.